I was at the Museum of Applied Math in Boston this weekend, so let me show you some of the cool exhibits they had in there. As soon as you walk in, you know you are in an applied math museum because they have this beautiful sculpture that represents the finite element method, which is a method to solve partial differential equations by using this type of mesh and simplifying the problem to find a numerical approximation of some PDE. Nearby, there is a fluid dynamics exhibit with a beautiful example of a PDE uh, with a boundary condition that it's changing with respect to time and it shows how those conditions make the solution be so intricate and create these uh, turbulent patterns that are so difficult to model. A Foucault pendulum is this amazing mathematical exhibit because if you model a pendulum that is inside a rotating body, then what you see is that the pendulum will do this sort of like flower pattern, these petals, which in practice will knock down these pins, demonstrating the rotation of the Earth. There is also this giant sphere that is, of course, Earth in the museum, which actually reminds you of how terrible projections are to make maps and how deceiving those maps can be. Because in regular maps, we use a type of projection to see the entire globe in one flat map. But when you stand under that globe and see the actual size of Antarctica, it's kind of shocking. You can easily fit all of the United States in Antarctica. Speaking of projections, there is an entire exhibit about how deceiving projections can be. There's this viewer that if you look through, you see that pattern, but what you're actually looking at is this composite of geometric figures. Now, the actual exhibit about math, it's kind of boring. Although they do have a very cool timeline of mathematicians and mathematical discoveries through time, uh, but there is a funny story about this last board. Until fairly recently, this actually read a wall of alive mathematicians, and unfortunately, it was so outdated that most of them had already passed away. But not everything is outdated. There is a new exhibit about AI. And of course, mathematics is front and center in this exhibit. For example, how combinatorics is essential to pattern recognition. If you pick just about like 30 data points that are just like, just yes or no for those data points, then there is like two to the 30 possibilities, just over a trillion possibilities. And that's enough to distinguish just about anybody on earth according to those 30 features. Anyway, I encourage you to go visit the Museum of Applied Math in Boston.